right, guys, welcome to the first video of the Forex for Beginners free course here on YouTube. Um, basically, the course is uh, made up of multiple modules, and we're going to start with module one, lesson one. Uh, module one is all about strategy, and uh, this lesson is going to be about why you need a strategy uh, and the basics behind it. And in the other modules, we are going to cover some concepts you can use to build your own strategy. Uh, we're going to talk about testing, etc. So that's module one. So before we start, we have the risk disclaimer. I will give you some time to read it. All right, the table of content. Uh, first, I'm going to talk about the modules to expect during the entire course. Uh, then I'm going to talk about why you really need a strategy, then how to get a strategy that works for you. And I'm going to go over one concept we use in our trading. And in further videos, we will explain some other concepts you can use and basically test for yourself to build your own strategy. So the modules to expect, as I said, module one is all about strategy. It's going to teach you some concepts about the a strategy. It's going to teach you how to read price and which areas are important to take a look at. Uh, the next module is about risk management. It will be a short module because we will only be covering the basics but there are a lot of misconceptions about risk management so we wanted to cover that as well the third module is psychology which will probably be one lesson because there's not much to say about psychology the people that are selling courses about psychology are usually doing it because they want to sell you something not because they want to teach you something it's really not that difficult psychology. You just need to learn a few things you need to apply in your trading and that, that can really fix most of your psychological issues. So that's why we want to talk about psychology. And the last module, module four, is continuous improvement in which we will share some ways to keep improving your trading in the coming years. Uh, so yeah, that's what you can expect from this free course. So let's get started with module one. Uh, and the first thing I want to discuss is why do you need a strategy? First of all, when you are trading the markets, there are unlimited ways to trade it. And there is a limited opportunity to make money. Basically, you can sell and buy at any time a market is open and you can always lose or win at any single time. Uh, and there's a lot of uncertainty in the market. And because trading is so uncertain, it goes uh, against human nature. So a strategy is used to create a bit of certainty in the uncertainty. A strategy limits you and only tells you when to enter the market. So you're not just uh, randomly trading, but a strategy really tells you when you're going to trade and when the odds are in your favor. And when that's not the case, you're not going to trade. It's that simple. So it gives you a framework to attack the markets only when there's opportunity. And that's very important because maybe you've heard of it before, but the, the bigger players, the bigger traders will always tell you that you need to be patient and you need to be able to sit on your hands because that's what's going to make the money. Uh, most of the big traders, they make their money in 20% of the trades they take. The other 80% of the trades is just a bit of a winner, a bit of a loser, a bit of a bigger loser, a bit of a bit bigger winner. But the real money is made in the A plus big trades so it doesn't make sense to take suboptimal trades and that's why you really need a framework the next thing is edge so you've if you've watched um on other videos of me you've probably heard me talk about edge quite a lot um, and edge is what you need in the markets if you don't have one 
you won't make money in the long run. Uh, and a strategy can be a very, very important part. At least we believe at CDFX Trading, it's the most important part of your strategy, uh, of your trading career. Because if you don't have a strategy with an edge, um, good psychology is not going to help you. Patience is not going to help you. The bottom line is that you need a, a framework that puts the odds in your favor over the long run. So a strategy is an important part of your edge. The other part of your edge is uh, you, yourself, how you view the markets, how you trade, how you manage yourself. Uh, but that's uh, going to be covered in the psychology module. And the last point is, of course, tracking and measuring. Basically, if you have a strategy, you can journal it, you can track what works, you can measure things, you can measure drawdowns during a trade, and you can use all those things to improve your trading. And if you don't have a strategy, you cannot really track anything because you're doing something different every single time. Uh, and that makes it very hard to learn from your mistakes and, and, and build from what you already have. So it is really important to have a strategy. And every single trader I know that's profitable has some form of strategy. They Maybe they have an, an expert advisor, maybe they trade a discretionary way, but they all have some rules that they follow to generate profits. And that's the bottom line. So you need a strategy. Um, if you want to have any chance of making any money. So you know that you need a strategy, but the next question that um, needs to be answered is how to get a strategy that works for you. And that is very, very hard. And you're going to spend a lot of time uh, figuring out a strategy that works for you because there are so many strategies out there. And the thing is, if a strategy works for someone else, it might not work for you because two people are very, very different. Everyone views the market different. Um, just as everyone looks at real life differently, because let's say you um, are a fitness, uh, let's say you do a lot of fitness um, and you get an injury on your knee. Some people might be sad and stop training while other people might look at it and think, all right, then I'm going to focus on um, building muscle in areas that I'm not strong at. Maybe they have some weak mobility in the shoulder, so they're going to focus on that instead of complaining about their, their, their injury uh, they have at the knee. So two people look at the exact same thing, completely different, and that's also in trading. So just getting a strategy that works is often not good enough it has to work for you and that's the hardest part how are you going to figure out what works for you so by going through these steps um, that are highlighted here you can basically get a feel of what you like so first of all your first year around your first year of training should be entirely focused on absorbing as much as possible so there is a lot of free information out there. There's no need to get a mentor to, to tell you the basics. That's why we, we make this course on YouTube. But basically you want to absorb as much as possible. There are so many concepts out there and you want to learn them and you want to understand them. You want to learn why they work uh, and, and notice if you under, really understand it and if it if it is something that makes sense to you, if that is not the case, then just don't, don't work on it because there's so many things you can learn and you really need to stick with the things you, you fully understand why they work. So that's what your first year should be. Absorb as much as possible, note down what you like and understand and just ditch the rest that you don't understand. There will always be some concepts that uh, speak out to you that you understand that resonate with you and you need to stick with those because you need to be building um, from a good foundation and you need to be building on your strengths if you want uh, to have any chance at winning. 
So learn concepts and understand why they work. And the next phase is testing. And in the knowledge uh, lesson, we're going to talk about back testing, but you need to test. So once you've found something that you understand, you need to test if it, w if it actually works. You need to come up with some rules of how you are going to apply it in trading. And uh, you need to keep track of the, the performance of the concepts you are going to use. So you want to build a strategy around concepts you understand. And that's going to take quite a long time. Uh, you're going to do a lot of testing. Again, we will go way deeper into this in the following lessons about backtesting. But that's the basic premise. Get something you understand. Test it over years and years of data. Keep track of it and build from there. So um, I wanted to talk about one concept we use in our trading. Uh, in autumn videos, we are going to talk about some other concepts, but this is going to be a basic concept that we think is very important to know when you are going to trade. And the concept is liquidity. Again, if you've seen any other videos of us, uh, you will see me speak about liquidity quite often uh, simply because it's very important to us so what is liquidity basically liquidity means the ability for a market to be traded at a certain price liquidity is important because basically for every uh, sell transaction there needs to be someone buying otherwise the transaction cannot take place so um, let's say someone wants to buy 100 lots at 110. Uh, there has to be someone selling at one, 100 lots at 110 in order for him to get a fill at that certain price. But let's say there's only 50 people or 50 lots selling and he wants to buy 100. Then he buys at a higher price because, because maybe at 110, five, there will be more sellers. So a part of his order gets filled at the, the 110 and another party gets filled at the higher price, which causes an immediate loss. Um, so basically it doesn't get filled at the price you want and gets into a drawdown. To prevent that, you want to trade at uh, liquid, liquid areas, basically. So areas to where are a lot of buyers and a lot of sellers. So you don't have this problem now. The Forex market is very, very liquid. So we as retail traders don't have this problem, but uh, big traders, big players, they have this problem. So they want to trade at areas where there is a lot of liquidity. So basically where the market is very tradable, where there are a lot of orders. And once you identify these areas, you can basically see what happens to the liquidity. So let's say a lot of buyers are below market and this area gets triggered. Uh, so a lot of buy orders get triggered, but price is not going up, it's going down. And that's something very telling you can use in your trading. So to explain this a bit further, I want to dive into a chart of the Euro dollar. So this is just one concept. Later on, I'm going to talk about support resistance, uh, how to use it, etc. But I just wanted to uh, talk about a brief concept uh, again in further videos. More concepts will be explained. But let's talk about liquidity. So here is a swing high. Another one. And this touch as well. So you basically got three touches in the same area, but these, this high doesn't get broken. And you can imagine that people will be selling this area because they see it as a resistance area. Um, one thing to keep in mind as a beginner that you need to know is people that sell, um, A stop loss of a seller is a buy order. So let's say people sell and they put the stop loss above this blue box. These are going to be buy orders. So 
because you're selling uh, you're selling the market but if price goes up you are buying uh, your order back from the market at a higher price and that's what causes the loss on a sell trade um, it's the other way around with buyers so a buyer stop loss is a sell order that's important to know because there will once this high gets broken so once the resistance breaks there will be a lot of buy orders from people that have been selling and putting their stop loss above this area what you also get is people buying the breakout because there is a violent breakout of the level so you get buyers actively buying through the breakout so you can imagine there is a lot of buying going on over here and then what's very interesting is this look at that there's a lot of buying but the market isn't going higher no it goes up and closes below the high of the range of the resistance area we just talked about so the market is going short but there are a lot of retail traders probably and other weekends buying and that's very important because this tells me that all the buy side liquidity up here has been absorbed by a very big trader that wants to be short because here are the here is enough liquidity to fill his order and that's very telling so that's what we use in trading uh, we use it basically on the daily time frame to form a bias so once we see this we want to be short targeting the next level below market which is here um, and that's the concept we use so here is another example which will be the last example because i don't want to make it too complicated in the first lesson but there you go strong swing low which is going to be seen as a support level then a touch over here and then the break of the level so once again people that were long will probably have the stop losses below here especially people that are going long in um, in this area will put the stop loss below over here so you get buyers that put the stop losses here which are sell orders and you get people that will be selling the breakout once this breaks so they expect to move to the downside to make some profit so once again there is a lot of sell side liquidity below here a lot of selling either forced selling by people that get stopped out or active selling by people that think the market will go down and then once again we get this interesting candle because look at that it breaks the low end of the range so the the stop losses get triggered the the sell orders get triggered so you would expect a move to the downside because there's a lot of selling but what happens is a very strong reaction and a rejection to the upside this is a very bullish candle it has moved over 100 pips from the low so that's very strong so once again the liquidity has been absorbed by a bigger trader that wants to be long and this forms a bullish bias what do we do next this is the next level above market, and we are going to try to get an entry to target that level because this is where is going to be uh, liquidity as well because look and that you get a touch over here this is the 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 next touch and as you can see once again price hits it because this liquidity absorbs it and quickly rejects it to the downside so this is a concept we use in our trading again we use it in a daily time frame to form a bias so if we see this we want to be long the coming days and here we want to be short the coming days and that's something you can use as well it's you can use it on the lower time frames um, as well again lots of ways to use this concept but this is just one of the ways this is just one of the ways we look at trading the markets um, so yeah let's go back to the presentation 
So to give you a recap, you need a strategy to make money in the markets uh, because otherwise you will lose all your money. Um, yeah, so the strategy needs to, you need to understand the strategy and you really need to spend your first year of trading studying different methods and concepts and finding out what you understand. Stick with that, ditch the rest and build from there. So I hope you guys learned a lot from the first lesson. Uh, in the next lesson, we're going to talk about certain concepts in the market, which are support and resistance levels, ranges, identifying trends, etc. So if you have any questions about this lesson, feel free to leave a comment below, contact us via our website. Uh, and if you don't want to miss any lessons, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified when we upload the next lesson. So speak to you guys in the next video.